I spent the better part of five years searching for an airplane before I bought one 2904. And during that time, I did so much cost analysis trying to determine the realistic cost of ownership that it would make your head spin. One thing I never planned for was having to put a new engine on the airplane within the first year of ownership. But now that it's done, it's time to take it out, test fly it, and make sure that everything's up to par. Putting a new engine on an airplane is both exciting and nerve-wracking all at the same time. For one, it's brand new and gives you a ton more confidence to know that you're 2,000 hours away from TBO. But on the other side, it has to be tested, it has to be flown, so that's what we're doing today to make sure that everything's up to optimal performance. 12994 National Conway, 20 Center, taxi via Tango 4, Sierra 7. 20 Center via Tango 4, Sierra 7 for 994. 994 for Charlie. Uh, we got Charlie 994. Oh, I just said, just picked up Charlie. Sister 2994, are you ready? Yeah, 994 is ready. Sister 2994, there. Uh, 20 Center, line of weight. Line of weight, 20 Center, 12994. Nine or, nine or four, turn left heading 110, runway 20 center, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 20 center, and left to 110 for 994. 6580, next tower, 20 right, line up away. 20 right, line up away, Scott 6580. Why is it not going all the way in? November 5, Mike Charlie, uh, you can contact ground point on off runway. Roger, Mike Charlie. Got 55, 80, turn right heading 260, only 20 right, clip takeoff. Right, 260, 20 right, clear for takeoff. Got 55 in. National Tower, Scott 5738, visual 20 right. Scott 5738, Axe Tower, and 20 right, clear land. Got to land 20 right, Scott 5738, thanks. System 994, contract departure. Over to park, 994. National departure, System 12994 with you through 7900. System 12994, National departure, ready contact, clear direct Lebanon. Direct Lebanon, 994. From zero zero kilo, now you have traffic between your 12 and 1 o'clock, 4 miles northwest bound now to indicates 2900, but he's been orbiting the area. Well then, this is a little bit unique. Brand new engine in the airplane. First time I've ever had to do a break in. Saw so flying at full throttle, 100% RPM, uh, actually about 2600 RPM right now. So, what you have to do to break it in? So, I'm going to just basically fly over a bunch of airports so that should something go wrong, I have some emergency alternates and options. And we'll see how it goes. Um, so far, so good though. I actually have a hard time holding my altitude because this thing wants to climb like a bat out of hell. But I guess that's a good problem to have, so we're going to keep it at 100% and just keep rolling.
actually really comfortable. The airplane's not giving me any issues. It's flying nice and smooth. Um, I feel good. So, yeah, I'm on my way to Dixon next. Um, and then we'll descend down to 5500 when we turn from there and we start heading back towards Nashville. Should be good. Aside from a very successful first flight on the engine, it was an awesome experience to take a 360 camera on board the airplane for the first time and see what it creates. I love how immersive this camera is and the ways that it can truly create a scene that's like nothing I've ever done before. It's not the easiest camera to work with, but I love the resulting footage that comes out of it. I guess more than anything, I'm just excited to have my airplane back. After all the stress and strain on the engine replacement process, it feels like this is a brand new start for me in the airplane, and we really have some unlimited potential here. So to follow along on our future adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in two weeks.